Hi, everybody. Um, I've got uh, Gavin Newsom's comments about my migrants arriving and democratic cities are backfiring. Yes. Like many Democrats, California Governor Gavin Newsom, Democrat, is see, uh, seething over illegal immigrants being rerouted from border states into left-wing sanctuary cities. Well, if they're sanctuary city, why should he be upset about it? Newsom claimed this is immoral and even called for the Justice Department to investigate Florida and Texas for having these migrants transferred over. Later, Newsom picked a fight with Florida Governor Ron DeSantis by demanding DeSantis to debate him. Yet, Newsom vocalizes his outrage. He's not talking about a very similar program that he oversaw during his time as San Francisco's uh, mayor. Then, Mayor Newsom started the program called Homeward Bound. As it turned out, Homeward Bound allowed homeless people to get free bus rides to other communities. An inconvenient reminder for Newsom. Newsom outraged toward Republican governors not wanting their communities to be overrun is deeply hypocritical due to his previous defenses of Homeward Bound. Well, that makes sense. When Newsom led San Francisco, he described Homeward Bound as an avenue to help folks turn their lives around. And I need to move this over just a hair. Um, oh, the irony. When Mayor of San Francisco, at Gavin Newsom, launched Operation Homeward Bound, where they brought homeless people one-way bus tickets out of town, the contortions these people made always amazed me. Office of the Governor of California. The then mayor even said homeless people in San Francisco had relatives or loved ones in other cities who could help them out. Homeward Bound was just the means of providing the necessary transportation. This program saw the overwhelming majority of homeless people getting transported outside of California rather than just outside San Francisco. Naturally, Newsom is not eager to talk about this today as it undercuts the anger he's directing toward GOP governors in Florida and Texas. Zero accountability. As Newsom escalates his attack against Republicans, especially DeSantis, he's taken a lot of heat on social media and not just because of Homeward Bound. Americans have suggested that Newsom should be less worried about Republican governors more focused on his own state. To this day, governor remains overrun with homelessness, growing crime, high taxes, and uncomfortable cost of living. The state's electric grid also isn't doing well. As Newsom continues to attack Republican governors, people are leaving states like his and moving to states like Florida. California population declined was so swift that it lost a seat in the House of Representatives after the 2020 census. All things considered, Newsom has bigger fish to fry than how GOP governors are choosing to protect their communities. You know, it's, it's just one thing after another. Absolutely. I don't know. When uh, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, let me scroll down here a little bit, was elected as governor of Florida in 2018, the state had far more Democratic voters than Republican ones. This made such a difference that DeSantis' victory over Florida Democrat Andrew Gullum was narrow. I think I've read that before. All right, let's go back up here. Uh, but that Newsom... Um, I don't get where he's coming from. That don't make sense to me of what he's doing. No, that just, uh, that really don't make sense. But whatever. Uh, one thing after another. Well, here is something. Oh, my goodness, I don't know about this. California governor signs bill to allow human composting. It's not what you think. California Governor Gavin Newsom has signed legislation that could that would allow the practice 
of composting human remains in an effort to combat climate change. Citing the high CO2 emissions caused by the cremation process, which reportedly accounts for approximately 360,000 metric tons carbon dioxide per year. The legislation will allow people the option of giving the remains over to a process known as natural organic reduction, N-O-R, natural organic reduction, if they choose not to be buried or cremated. The process involves placing the body inside a long reusable steel container along with wood chips and flowers to aerate it, um, allowing microbe, microbes and bacteria to break down the remains, according to reporting from the Daily Mail. One month later, the remains will fully decompose and be turned into soil. The human composted soil will then be given to the deceased's family or donated to cons Conservation land. So they'd have to wait a month. Uh, they show a picture of the container. It's a steel container, uh, but I can't uh, save it. I tried and it just didn't work. I don't know why, but it won't work because I wanted to post it, but um, I don't think I can save it. <clears throat> See, all I get is what I've already got. I just get the article. I don't know. Yeah, see, I just get the article. Yeah, I can't, uh, I can't save the picture of it. I suppose it's, uh, let me go down here just for a second to see. I can share it. But if I save as, I just get the article. <clears throat> so it must be, uh, oh, uh, whatever they call that. Anyway, the author of the bill, California Assembly member Christina Garcia, praised NOR, calling it a more environmentally friendly process. With climate change and sea level rise as very real threats to our environment, this is an alternative method of finally final deposition that won't contribute emissions into our atmosphere, Garcia wrote. I look forward to continuing, continuing my legacy to fight for clean air by using my reduced remains to plant a tree. According to the legislation, I just don't know about it. I, I just don't know. <laughs> now, if her remains grows a tree, is it going to have eyes? Is it going to be able to see then maybe? I'm sorry. <laughs> According to legislation, it will be illegal to combine human remains without permission or unless the individuals are related. The bill also states that it will be illegal to sell the soil or to use it for agricultural purposes. The Catholic Church strongly opposes NOR and argues that it was meant for livestock. NOR uses essentially the same process as a home gardening composting system, says Kathleen Domingo, executive director of the California Catholic Conference. These methods of disposal were used to lessen the possibility of disease being transmitted by the dead carcass. She added, I always thought of a carcass as a dead animal. Now we're known as a dead carcass. <clears throat> okay. Using the same methods for the transformation of human remains can create an unfortunate spiritual, emotional, and psychological distancing from the deceased. Well, <clears throat> I guess we wouldn't know what happened to us anyway, would we? The law will not go into effect until... 2027. Other states which have enacted similar legislation include Washington, Colorado, and Oregon.
I just don't know. I no words. Uh, let me know how y'all feel about it. Yeah, leave leave a comment. Please let me know how y'all feel about it. You know, uh, it's just I don't know. Okay, let's go on. For over a year, Joe Biden has been lying to the American people about inflation. It wasn't too long ago that the president was saying inflation would just be a passing stage of economic recovery. Then the narrative shifted when Biden blamed Russia's invasion of Ukraine, despite this happening well after massive price increase increases across the nation. Eventually, the White House posted on social media the Republicans were fuel inflation, fueling inflation by not voting for the 2021 American Rescue Plan. In the present day, Biden is still lying. His latest mistruths are inflation occurring during a 60-minute interview that aired over the weekend. Understanding Biden's li latest strategy. I was going to say last. <laughs> it's latest. <laughs> I can't wait until his last something or other. Since the president can no longer write off inflation as transitory, he's now just severely downplaying it. When questioned by 60 Minutes about inflation, the president argued the inflation, inflation only a jump, just an inch. Meanwhile, the economic data tracking inflation, consumer costs tell a different story. In reality, inflation stands at 8.3% today, which is the highest rate in four decades, 40 years. Furthermore, inflation also grew last month, despite economics, econ economics expecting a modest drop in prices. Here's what 60 Minutes said. What can you do better to lower inflation? Biden replies, Inflation rate month to month was just up an inch. 60 minutes. You're not arguing that 8.3% is good news? Back to Biden. You're acting like all of a sudden, my God, it went to 8.2%. 60 minutes. It's the highest rate in 40 years. Just an inch doesn't even begin to cover the upticks in cost of rent, groceries, mortgages, credit card bills, natural gas, and utilities. As a double whammy to inflation, Americans are also suffering from soaring rates of interest that the Federal Reserve is expected to keep increasing. Nevertheless, when further passed on infl in the inflation by 60 minutes, the president repeated more falsehoods with one notable claiming inflation has remained basically even. It's not going up. It's not going down. It's just a flat line. <clears throat> no escaping the facts. Biden's remarks on 60 Minutes don't change the reality of what everyday people are up against. Americans walk into their local grocery store and see rising inflation right before them. In fact, consumer quotes, costs are so out of control the multiple reports document more people are doing their food shopping at dollar stores rather than grocery stores. That's me. You betcha. And the Dollar Tree. Oh, yes. Biden comes back and says inflation rate month to month was up just an inch. Hardly at all. And there's a picture of him here, but I... Don't believe I can save that either. No, copy video address, can't save it. I can get other pictures of him though. I really don't want them. 60 Minutes directly confronted the president about the negative experiences Americans are having when grocery shopping, but he still couldn't take responsibility. Appearing visibly uncomfortable, Biden continued to dodge accountability and imply that inflation is being blown out of portion, proportions. Despite being asked by 60 Minutes, the president also failed to list any specific measures he believes he can take to reduce consumer costs. He don't know what the heck 
is up or down, does he? I mean, come on, leave me a comment. Maybe I'm way off here, you know. Leave me a comment. I appreciate it. And I tried to read uh, all I can, believe me. I tried to read all I can. But now, just a little note here that I did take from another YouTuber is uh, the price of crude oil is down, okay? But gas is going up two bucks. Two dollars more. Are the oil and gas companies getting greedy? California is being gouged. Florida is going to be gouged. And how soon do you think it's going to spread all over the United States? The oil companies are ripping everybody off now. They want more money. They didn't want the oil prices to go down. So now everybody's got to pay two extra dollars. <clears throat> that floored me, needless to say. Doesn't take much to floor me anymore, as you all know. <laughs> Sometimes I do get carried away, but boy, this is ridiculous. It's just terrible. Let's see what this one says here. Sydney Axney is wrong for Iowa. Yes, she is. But I'm closing that out. The California Air Resource Board, C-A-R-B, recently reported a plan to ban diesel trucks from being used on the roads in California by 2040. The California Air Resources Board has declared it's a moral obligation to ban diesel-powered trucks end the transition towards renewable energy and to end decades of racist and classic practices. Classic. C-L-A-S-S-I-S-T. Classics? Practices. Whatever. Look at all them trucks lined up. I bet I can't save this either. Oh, yes, I can. Yes, I can. I'm going to do this real quick here. Yeah. Real quick. Okay, now I'm going to get that done here in just a minute. And uh, it didn't take long to download either. No, so it's pretty good. And uh, <clears throat> I don't hear a ticking in my computer, by the way. Uh, which I did on that other video, on the first video I did. This is video number two, which I'm not going to say number two, I guess, but whatever. But uh, let's move this over now. i got to move it over. <clears throat> oh, maybe I lost it. No, there it is. But i got to get rid of this one. I don't know what Google's doing to me. Google had me sign back in again. I have no idea what's going on here, if you want to know the honest truth. And this does not uh, do anything. Well, I wanted to see more about that D, so I'll have to go back and grab that one lay again later, I guess. But, um, now Chuck Grassley... Uh, he's popped up here since President Biden took office. Iowans have seen prices rise 13.7%, adding an extra $666 to their monthly budget. Iowans are sick and tired of paying for the failures in Biden's economy. Well, of course. That only makes sense. Oh, I don't want that one there. Now, how do I get back to where I was? Hang on. It's just down that. All right. Now, I don't know. I don't want to bring that back up again. But maybe I'll have to to get back to where I was. Okay, let's go on down here. Uh, hang on, hang on, people. Mm 
Well, I'm not getting to it now. No, nope, I'm not getting to it. But anyway, let's go on to the next one. Uh, let's see. Let's go back to Newsom here. I've got them all lined up just right in a row if I can just get to where I'm going. A Newsom and leftist policy-driven grid problems will grow and spread. Okay, Governor Gavin Newsom, Democrat in California, facing harsh criticism for, criticism for how he tried to handle electricity crisis during a heat wave where Californians nearly missed losing their power altogether. You know, he's, he's turning out to be something else too, isn't he? The editorial board at the Wall Street Journal denounced Newsom's response to the ordeal, pointing to the state shifts towards green energy sources, including solar and wind power, which forced gas and nuclear plants to close under his administration. The state didn't have enough energy to keep up with the demand when temperatures were in the triple digits. Oh, I felt so sorry for those people, and I know y'all did too. My goodness, I think some reached 100, what was 120 degrees Fahrenheit? Oh my goodness. But what started in California rarely, rarely, rarely blah, 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 stays in California. You know what, I think I'll have a glass of wine someday. <laughs> Americans everywhere will soon be soaked with higher prices for power that is becoming less reliable. The WSJ editorial board wrote, The editorial board pointed to the irony behind Newsom's emergency heat wave tactics where emergency gas power generators were set up to keep the electricity running. Critics have argued the shift to move away from fossil fuels doesn't save money, only makes the source electricity unreliable. Well, not only that, but they're trying to get rid of all the, the oil and all the gas and everything and want everybody to go to electric. Electric costs a lot more than what gas does. So where does that put us if we have to go all electric? That's electric furnace, electric water heater. And our electric bills will be sky high. Who's going to get ahead? Well, we never do, do we? I guess that's the truth of the matter right there. Rhode Island Energy this summer asked regulators to more than double current electric rates for this winter. Falling gas, gasoline prices for many Americans could be fully offset by rising electricity costs. I just said that. Wow. Huh. That was pretty good, Betty, if I say so myself. The WSJ noted the end of summer heat waves are pretty much the norm for California. This time the state was forced to rely on other states back up energy supplies. But even that wasn't enough, since those areas too have been transcending trans toward green energy. Yeah, been trans transcending. Oh, forget it, Betty. Okay, let's go on. Let's go on. <laughs> you know what I mean. During the heat wave emergency, Newsom told Californians to raise their thermostats and asked industrial businesses to temporarily shutter because everyone must do their part, according to a video uploaded by the governor's office. The grid problems that the Californians are enduring will grow and spread as supersized green energy subsides, si subsidies and mandates spread their harmful incentives throughout the U.S. economy in coming years. The culprit is the left's climate policies, not climate change. The WSJ ed editorial board said, according to the most recent data from Choose Energy, energy prices in California have risen 25.4% compared to last year already. You know, what are they trying to do to us? <laughs> Republicans, commissioners on the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission and some industry groups have been pushing for a slower transition to renewable energy to make sure any shortfalls in energy supply could be dodged. According to the National Review, Democrats have put blame on power transmission issues for periodic blackouts, not the shift in energy sources. 
Well, that right there, that's very true. That's where the blame should go, not the shift in energy sources. I agree with that. During a 21 campaign event in New Hampshire, President Joe Biden told a questionnaire, look into my eyes. I guarantee you, we're going to end fossil fuels. The video was later posted to YouTube by a group called the GOP War Room. God bless the War Room, whoever they are, I've not been there. I may have to go check that one out. Uh-huh, I'll do just that. <laughs> well, people, I'm going to take a break. Yeah, I'm going to take a break here. And uh, I'm going to do one more because I wasn't on all day today. And uh, so I'm going to do one more. So I will get this one downloaded. I'll be back. Bye. See you later.